Hello, Jesus. I'm working on the water. I'm going to see uh, Mormons. Just here, uh, there is a gay pride, and yeah. uh, I, I, uh, I like your question. What do they say? What do Mormons say about gays in Salt Lake City? Yeah. Look at all those buildings. Yeah. Very particular city. Mm -hmm. So here we are. It's one of the uh, main temple. No, this no? is a very secondary one. Ah, secondary one. So secondary temple of Mormons. So we'll have a, a free walking tour around the temple, and we'll try, we'll try to do a short video about Mormons. What do you think? I think so. We'll yeah. Try. So we we start with a short thirty minutes tour, guided tour, and then. We'll try to meet people. Uh -huh. All right, here we are. Beautiful gardens. Yes. And buildings. We do pray that you'll be filled with and fortified by the love of God. And in order to reaffirm that message, Where do you think we are here? I think Nick will give us some information. A little bit of information. This is Salt Lake City. This is the tabernacle in um, Temple Square. We've just come out of a performance by the Mormon Tabernacle Choir uh, in this concert hall that has 25,000 seats. Uh, perhaps this is the biggest church in the world. It certainly seems like a mega, mega church. Fabulous choir. And uh, now we're going to go over and get a tour of the historic buildings. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, 150 languages. Oh, thank you. And 150, wow. 
We just ended a guided tour here in the Mormon temple and uh, we have uh, we had so many informations and just lost so I'll ask uh, Nick uh, to have a resume about all the, uh, those informations. All right. Well, here we are in the old section of the Temple Square. These buildings were built in some of them in 1847 when Brigham Young uh, escaped from persecution in uh, Illinois or Indiana uh, to come here with his followers, many of whom had to drag their own uh, uh, push carts because they didn't have enough money to pay for horses and oxen. Anyway, these beautiful buildings, such as this tabernacle here, built in 1863, are magnificently preserved and used today um, for their services. Uh, the acoustics in here, by the way, are incredible because uh, it was designed at a time when they wanted everybody to hear, but there were no microphones or amplifiers, so they had to design a building with an internal curved uh, ceiling uh, that you can hear anything. Um, there are 11,000 uh, pipes in the organ in there. Uh, we learned about uh, God and Jesus, who were at one time real people, and um, the Holy Spirit, which is a, a real spirit, uh, and that uh, God has... Uh, um, many wives, that uh, um, he has a, his own planet, Kolob, uh, and that uh, Jesus is the head of the church. And man can become and, gods. Yes, and a man Whoa. who lives, this bell by the way, <laughs> was brought here by Brigham Young from uh, its original location back east to come here to make this a, a sacred place. Um, so anyway, there we are. Yeah, thank you, Leons, for Mormons in, on the earth. That's uh, that's what I read. Sixteen million Mormons. Yes, on the uh, everywhere in the world, even the in world. even in Micronesia, we had them on the island of Koshrai, and uh, the, the, the Koshrayan uh, uh, services were in Koshrayan in um, uh, Koshrai, and they uh, uh, had a Mormon church there. It was one of the nicest churches on the island. You know what I appreciate here, or what what thing uh, I was attracted by? Yeah. Happy faces. Oh, everyone's very friendly and happy. Yes. There's, there's not a sad face in the whole crowd. Everyone very, uh, uh, seeming to be very blessed and moved by the spirit. Yeah, and I, I have even the goose skin when we were um, uh, on the other side with the music. Yeah. Music, incredible music. Yeah, Acoustic. Acoustic, yes, And right. voices. Yeah, yeah. Another uh, in, in experience, interesting experience about religion. We are very open-minded, so that's we right. want to learn more and more and more. That's yes. why we are here, that's and why that's why we travel. So if you want to travel, first you uh, read the book Go Now, <laughs> the, the book uh, written by Nick Zoa, and then you'll have a lot of advices and another way of travel. And uh, after you uh, follow my vlogs <laughs> so that's it and then you go don't don't uh, don't uh, wait uh, waste time and don't wait don't go wait. now go now another big church uh, by the way why there is American flag well this is an American religion and because the first uh, people to come to America were were people, the Israelites, and they came in about 600 BC to North America, uh, then th those were the first Mormons. And uh, this is a, uh, an American religion. It, it, had, it started here, it was born here even before Jesus existed. Yeah. Of course, where, where is flowers? There is Natalia. <laughs> really? Yes. Mm, and it smells... Mm. Oh, look at all these bees the here. Bees. With this rhythm, if we smell every flower, we'll never arrive in Colorado this night. That's right. You know, I mean, if you go there every Sunday, yes, and you come home, yes, thinking to yourself, I want my house to be like that. Yes, That's and I like this uh, neighborhood. Oh, this is a beautiful neighborhood. Yes. Look at these beautiful gardens and there is 
our host's life, a house, we stay this night. So this is our host, Rebecca. Thank you very much. There she is. Ah, already went to the house. What a wonderful experience! Another couch surfing experience. Another amazing couch surfing experience. Yeah. I I, I love this system of travel. Have we ever been hosted by a Mormon? Well, we were hosted by a retired man. Yes, yes, retired. Yes, he's... This is even more interesting. Yes. Do you see Nick here? What happens? Oh, so many people. Gay pride. Gay pride in Salt Lake City. <laughs> Nick, why are we are here? We're going to visit the home of a friend of mine. Yeah? Who lives in Lewiston, Maine now, but who uh, owns this house under 556. So it's this one? Oh, look at this uh, uh, decor. I like this decor. We have the opportunity to be in the right place at the right time, whether it's couch surfing or the Gay Pride Parade, right here in Salt Lake City. This is it. Let's go to Let's go to Dinosaur, Dinosaur National Park. Yeah. So they have less taxes in the Dakota? That's right, less taxes than any other state. Oh, any other state? Well, maybe maybe there's one other that's good, but it, the one in North Dakota is especially good. Oh, okay. So those are the two things that I know about that North Dakota is famous for. Yep. Oh, 
know is somebody going to know how big that is unless somebody stands next to it like this. I don't have space in my camera. <laughs> yeah. You know, every visitor center or national park is so well organized. You have some smart people who work on these things. Yes, and everything is like with good information, pictures, or look at this tree. Yeah. Yeah. It's nicely done, isn't it? All right, dinosaurs, dinosaur toys. Now, we know how big the dinosaurs were and they know how they were shaped from their bones, but we don't know what color they were. So, who knows? Were they green? Were they gray with stripes? Were they pretty little yellow scales? And they were up. But we know how big they were. And someday maybe we'll find out what color they really were. So that's what we have for now. Nice dinosaur toys, though. This is Dinosaur National Monument's quarry, where they've kept it just as they found it. So you can see how the bones were actually discovered. In uh, looking at this surface here, it's actually a flat surface like this, which was originally a mud, a mud, a muddy swamp. Uh, something caused these dinosaurs to be killed, uh, decayed here, here, and that might have been a flood. But there were all these dead dinosaurs here. They got covered up by another layer of mud. And of course, through the fossilization process, the carbon was replaced with silicon, and they became stone, which is what a fossil is. Anyway, this is the this is the surface as it was originally found, and before it was tilted through geologic processes. Yeah, if you look, uh, yes, I think you can see the whole animal. Yeah. And there are so many kids here. Yeah, it's good. Because they like kids, dinosaurs. Kids like dinosaurs. <laughs> dinosaurs are the best animals in the world. As a child, I wished that someday I could see a real live dinosaur. And then maybe I'd find out what color he was. Wow, it's real cool. reconstruction of the most complete fossil ever found where the paleontologists didn't have to do much work to put the pieces together because they said good all the pieces are all where they belong there's obviously some re reconstruction they did at the front end but they got a whole animal with all the bones which then it makes it easy because then somewhere else if you find one of these or one of those you know what you've got but do you think it's a, a adult or a, a, a oh this is a baby this is a baby this is a baby dinosaur. Yeah. And um, because it's so full. It's so small because yes. the big ones are 60 feet long. So this is just a little. 18 baby meters. And, and um, 25 tons yeah, for a big, big one. Ones, the big ones are 25 tons. And for the baby, uh, it's 1.5. So I mean, this guy, this guy didn't weigh much more than a car. Carnivore <laughs> <laughs> one. Oh yeah. There's your carnivore. And it's a big one. You cannot it's have a all the big one. He's not yeah. all here. No. But so there are the teeth. And often, often they use the skull and the teeth to be able to identify for sure what animal this was. The other pieces aren't always so easy to identify. But you find the skull and you say, oh, I, we know what we've got. And it, obviously this guy is a predator because he's got those nice teeth. And sometimes predators are uh, smaller than the, the right. nice kind, uh, big right. uh, dinosaurs. Yeah, I mean, you would think today, you know, lions are not as big as elephants. And um, yeah, in fact, in general, you know, it takes a lot of energy to move a large animal, and they can get the energy more quickly from plants than they can from eating. Because eating takes a lot of work, eating an animal, catching an animal, is the predators have to work hard. Yeah. All those bones are real. It's amazing to be here and to, to actually we thought it's not true. In our in our country maybe people think uh, dinosaurs are unreal. So it's amazing to be here. Our road trip is amazing.